Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today is going to be a makeup tutorial on this look over here. I'm going to be showing you some of my all-time tried and true busy girl makeup tricks to look good in five minutes. Let's be honest, spending at least half an hour on our makeup routine on a daily basis is just unrealistic for majority of us. I for one very rarely wear any makeup unless I have to look presentable for some reason. I actually have a Skype meeting today so I had to, you know, kind of put together. Hence the inspiration for today's video. This makeup look is not only for my busy girls, it's also for my lazy girls who don't want to spend so much time beating their face trying to look put together. So if you're like me and don't like spending a lot of time on your makeup routine and you want to look good and fresh and put together in around five minutes or so, then I think this video is for you. So without further ado, let's just hop into the video. All right, so I'm first gonna start off by spritzing my face with the Caudalie Beauty Elixir, and I just do this to wake myself up. And I feel like it really hydrates my skin and creates a beautiful base. And I feel like with quick makeup, it's really important to have a really beautiful, flawless base. I also find that spraying my face before applying makeup just makes the makeup so much easier to apply. It just blends up so much nicer. And then I go in with the NARS Soft Matte Complete Coverage Concealer. I think that's what it's called. I have the shade Vanilla and it looks like this and what i like to do is just warm it up a little bit with my finger and then i apply it directly to my skin so notice that i do this before foundation and i find that it just saves me a lot of time because i don't have to be perfect with my blending because i can just go in and blend everything out together with my foundation and it gives a more flawless look so i'm just applying it to my under eyes and over my eyelids to cancel out any discoloration and then also and over any spots that I may have and then I use my ring fingers to dab it into my skin this is so much faster to do when you're not doing it over foundation because you, like I said you don't have to be precise with it all right next I'm going to go in with foundation and I'm actually going to prime and apply foundation to my skin at the exact same time I call this primation if you've never heard of it before this probably because you never have i made it up so i'm gonna apply one pump of the bosha tsubaki lotion primer this is what it looks like with one pump of the Too Faced Peach Perfect Foundation in the shade Warm Beige. And I'm going to mix it with one more foundation because this foundation is way too dark for me at the moment because I have no self tanner on. And I mix it with the lightest shade in the Josie Marin Vibrancy line. This is in the shade Dynamic RG5. So that's my little cocktail right over here. And all I'm going to do is mix these three products in the palm of my hand. So I'm going to be priming and also adding some coverage to my skin all at the same time. What I like to do is warm up the product by blending it into my skin using my fingers first. I feel like this gives you the best coverage, it's faster, and then it makes my job with my beauty blender much easier. And then I'm gonna just go in with my beauty blender and make sure that everything is smoothed out and blended into the skin. I love this primer and foundation hack because it kills two birds with one stone and it gives your foundation a more flawless skin-like appearance. I also find when I do this, I don't have to set my under eyes, which is perfect because no one's got time for setting. All right, since no one's got time to fill in their brows, I'm just gonna go in with the Givenchy Mr. Bragram. I apologize, my tube is absolutely filthy right now but this is in the shade brunette and basically what it does is just add some color to your brows and fills in any sparse areas so i'm just gonna run it through my brows just like that and then also brush my hairs upwards a little bit to give it a fuller effect All right, now I'm gonna go in with a bronzer. This is the Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer in the shade Light Bronzer. And I love using bronzers because they're such a versatile product. You can literally use them for so many areas of the face, which I'll show you right now. So first I'm gonna go in with a Luxie 522 Tapered Highlighter Brush in the hollows of my cheeks to kind of bronze and contour my cheekbones at the same time. I love this brush for that. And then I take a Morphe M527 brush with the same bronzer to bronze up my forehead and jawline. 
And then with the Morphe M441 brush, I'm going to go in with the bronzer again and go right in the crease. And this is going to open up your eyes and create some depth in your eyes to make your eyes look more open and awake, which is a great trick. And using a bronzer like this makes a perfect natural transition. And the beautiful part about using a bronzer like this in the crease is that you don't have to be perfect with it. So you can literally slap it on and it's going to look really nice and fresh. And then with a smaller Morphe M149 brush. I'm going to go back into the bronzer and just very lightly contour the sides of my nose and do this real quick. It takes like no time and just use my ring finger to blend out the harsh lines. Fastest nose contour of life. Next, I'm going to go in with the Benefit The Real Mascara and I'm only going to apply one coat of mascara because busy girls don't have time to apply more than one coat. And I really love this mascara for that because it kind of adds thickness and length to your lashes in one coat. Obviously, if you do a second coat, it's gonna be a more dramatic effect, but usually I find one coat with this mascara is really nice as well. See what I mean? All right, mascara is on. Now I'm gonna go in with another multi-purpose product, and this is the RMS Beauty Living Luminizer, and I have the shade Champagne Rosé. This is what it looks like on the inside. I love using this luminizer on a daily basis. All I do is take the butt of my beauty blender, I squeeze it like this, and I just pounce it inside of the pot. I try not to use this on camera because I noticed that when my lights reflect off of it, it kind of makes my skin look greasy, but it doesn't look greasy at all in real life. I did notice a lot of you commenting on my skin whenever I wore this saying that my skin is super greasy, but my skin is the farthest thing from greasy, I can assure you. My skin is actually very much on the dry side of things, so that's the only reason why I don't use this highlight on camera because when the lights reflect off it, it does look a little bit dewy which I don't mind, I love a good do. So as you saw, I applied it to the tops of my cheekbones, my nose, my chin, and what I like to do as well is dip my ring finger into it and just kind of go in right in the corner like that. And it creates a really nice natural inner corner highlight. And you can also take it on the tops of the lids to make your eye look a little bit bigger. And the fact that I use the bronzer and the luminizer all over my face, it just makes the entire look a lot more cohesive and it's really fast to do which is always a bonus all right so now i'm going to add a little pop of color to the cheeks and the lips and another incredible multi-use product that i love is from nude sticks they have some incredible products they're super easy to use they blend out beautifully on the skin so i have three lip and cheek gel colors from, from nude sticks i have fate pulse and Lux. so i think i'm going to go with Lux today it's a really nice pinky peach shade and what i'm going to do first is add a little bit of color to my cheeks and then use my beauty blender to blend it out. You can also use your fingers for this, but I just find that it's a little bit faster with a beauty blender. It just adds a very natural soft flush to the cheeks. And I really love that you can use these products over powders. It doesn't move foundation around, it doesn't distort the powders, and you can use it on your cheeks and your lips as well. And these are super easy to apply. You don't need a lip liner with them, which is also a big plus. And the last up is a little spritz of the Caudalie Beauty Elixir. All right guys, so that concludes my five minute makeup look. This is how a busy girl like me looks put together and fresh in five minutes. So I really hope that some of my tricks and tips helped you out. I hope that you'll be able to use a lot of your current makeup products in your routine as a multi-purpose products to really speed up your routine, make everything a lot more efficient and give yourself a fresh, cohesive, glowy look. As I mentioned, for me, the most important thing is to make sure that I have a good base. I feel if my skin is looking good, I'm gonna have a good makeup day. If you guys are interested in any of the products that I used in today's video, they're going to be linked in my description box down below, so feel free to check it out if you're interested. And I'm gonna wrap things up right over here. As always, I wanna thank you guys so much for hanging out with me and for watching, and I will see you in my next one.